When students finally get comfortable with adding two fractions, a third fraction may get thrown in. This sometimes can make a student feel stuck and sometimes forget what they have learned in practice. The same steps to add two fractions can be taken in order to add three fractions. What do we remember about adding two fractions with unlike or different denominators? In order to add fractions with different denominators, we must find a common denominator and rename them with equivalent fractions. It's the same process for adding three fractions. Let's list out the multiples of each denominator and see what they have in common. For each number, you can skip count to find the multiples. List out between five and 10 multiples of each number to see what they have in common. Notice they all have 30 as a multiple. We'll use 30 as a common denominator for our new equivalent fractions. Our next step is to find what the new numerators will be. Let's start with 4 fifths. If our new denominator is 30, how many groups of 5 equals 30? 6. 6 groups of 5 equals 30, or 6 times 5 equals 30. Let's do the same for the numerator. 6 group of 4 equals 24, 6 times 4 equals 24. Our equivalent fraction of 4 fifths is 24 thirtieths. Next we have 1 third. How many groups of 3 equals 30? 10. 10 groups of 3 equals 30. Let's do the same for the numerator. 10 groups of 1 equals 10, or 10 times 1 is 10. Our new equivalent fraction for 1 third is 10 thirtieths. Last, let's work on 2 six. How many groups of 6 equals 30? 5. 5 groups of 6 equals 30, or 5 times 6 equals 30. Let's do the same for the numerator. 5 groups of 2 equals 10, or 5 times 2 equals 10. Now that we have equivalent fractions to the original fractions with all common denominators, can we add them together? Yes. 24 thirtieths plus 10 thirtieths equals 34 thirtieths. 34 thirtieths plus 10 thirtieths equals 44 thirtieths. The sum of the fractions is 44 thirtieths. We can rename this fraction greater than one as a mixed number. To learn the steps to do this, watch my video on converting fractions to mixed numbers. How could your students go about solving a subtraction expression with three fractions? Again, let's list out the multiples of the denominators in order to find a common denominator. For 12, we can list out 12, 24, 36, 48, 8, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. We can see that they all have 24 as a multiple. So we'll use 24 as the common denominator. Let's find out what each new numerator will be. We'll start with 11 twelfths. How many groups of 12 equals 24? 2. 2 times 12 equals 24. Let's do the same for the numerator. 2 times 11, or 2 groups of 11, equals 22. Our equivalent fraction to 11 twelfths is 22 twenty-fourths. Now let's work on 2 eighths. How many groups of 8 equals 24? 3. 3 times 8 equals 24. Let's do the same for the numerator. 3 times 2, or 3 groups of 2, equals 6. The equivalent fraction for 2 eighths is 6 twenty-fourths. Last, let's work on an equivalent fraction for 2 fourths. How many groups of 4 equals 24? 6. 6 times 4 equals 24. Let's do the same for the numerator. 6 groups of 2, or 6 times 2, equals 12. An equivalent fraction for 2 fourths is 12 24ths. 
We can subtract now that the denominators are alike or the same. 22 20 fourths minus 6 20 fourths equals 16 20 fourths. 16 20 fourths minus 12 20 fourths equals 4 20 fourths. The difference of the fractions is 4 20 fourths. An extra step can be to simplify this fraction. To learn how to do this, watch my video on simplifying fractions.